Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. So what you see over here is a model that I made in a previous tutorial, but the thing is that it doesn't have proper UVs. So in this one, I want to show you how you can UV unwrap hard surfaces in Cinema 4D in the most basic way. Firstly, let me turn off the shading mode. I will hit N and Q on the keyboard, then I will remove the work plane, and finally I will move on to the UV edit layout. I will select my mesh, and as you can see, the UVs of the mesh are completely broken, so we need to clean them up or reset them up. To do that, I will go into the polygon mode, hit Ctrl A, and then click on Reset UV. Before diving into the process, I should mention that if you are looking for a quick solution, you can use the automatic UV tools. Let's go into that segment, select the packed one, and then click on Apply. Make sure that every polygon is selected, hit Ctrl A, and then click on Apply. As you can see, it does a pretty good job, especially when it comes to hard surfaces and angular surfaces. But the thing is, it sometimes works, sometimes doesn't. So for that reason, you need to know how UV unwrapping works in Cinema 4D. But if you are looking for quick fixes or solutions, you can absolutely use those options. But in the tutorial, I want to do it in a more manual way. So let's hit Ctrl Z to reset them again. And then go into the edge mode. I will be mostly in the edge mode so that we can select the edges as seams. This is going to help us to split up the UVs into separate parts. And those seams will be basically hard edges. When it comes to hard surfaces or unwrapping hard surfaces, it is all about selecting the hard edges. This is going to help us to break those UVs into, you know, smaller parts or separate parts. But selecting these edges by hand is a very time consuming task. So to do that real quick, I will select everything, click off, then tap V, go to select, and then select the font break selection tool. This tool will simply select all the sharp looking edges on the surface based on that angle. But 20 is usually too low. It picks up the edge loops that we don't need, like those edges. Those are on a curved surface, so we need to eliminate them. To do that, I will increase that up to something like 40. By the way, it is not going to work perfectly, like it cannot pick up some of the edges we need. So what we need to do is click on select all and select the remaining edges by hand. So I will tap E on the keyboard, then hold down shift and select those edges. Let me do that real quick. You can also hold down shift and double click because it's going to select the loop if you double click on a loop. Also, let's turn off the subdivision surface. I will also include those edges to my selection because those edges are sharp enough. Okay, I think I got all the edges that I need as seams, which means that we can move on to the UV unwrap section and click on UV unwrap. And now we have this message, people don't know what to do when, when they get this error, but it is actually quite easy to fix it. I will click on OK and it will immediately select the problematic areas or polygons or components so that we can tap S to, to zoom in those areas. By the way, my view is clipping. I, I will go back to the perspective view. So I will hit S and then you can also hit N and G on the keyboard to enable the see through so that you can see those problematic polygons. It seems like those are the ones causing that problem, but I don't know exactly what is the problem. So I usually enable the wireframe mode so that I can see the topology and enable the subdivision surface. The topology will tell a lot about the problem we are having. For example, I see that this problem is about duplicated points. I will select that point and move it around. And as you can see, uh, that point is unnecessary. So to merge these points, I will Select them all, Ctrl A, then right click and open up the optimize options. Sorry, first let's straight up apply the tool. 
it's not going to work because we need to increase up the thresholds. It seems like those points are not that close to each other. So I will set this to 0.01. I need OK. Perfect. Now that problem is gone, which means that we can go back to the edge mode. By the way, that edge selection is still active. It is not gone. So we can simply click on UV unwrap. This is how Cinema 4D does the UV unwrapping. Whenever you click on the UV unwrap, it results in those tiny UV islands. So we need to pack them firstly. So I will hit Ctrl A. I will then go to the UV packing, go to the geometric, and then select the equalize island size. If we enable this, the UVs will be proportional to the 3D mesh. So let's click on apply. And here we go. The result is pretty good, except for some islands like those weird looking ones. And the reason why we got them is because uh, those islands or those shapes are basically cylinders, which means that we need to pick seams, additional seams for them as well. It is usually quite easy to detect those broken UVs. They look like that usually or like that but if you still find it quite challenging to to see them you can go to the view and enable distortion this is going to highlight the problematic uv islands so that you can start to work on them so let's do it i will start off with this one firstly i will be in the polygon mode then select the island i will double click on it then i will go into edge mode then i will double click on a random edge it is going to select the whole loop Let's tap S on the keyboard to, to zoom in that area. So it selected those edges, which means that we can use these edges as seams. So to unwrap that area again, I will go to the UV unwrap. But before applying the tool, I will open up the options and enable the restrict the polygon selection. This is going to unwrap the selected area only. So let's click on OK. I will back out. Then I will go back to the polygon mode and move this off, move this new island off. This is the proper island and this is the broken island. You can see the difference. Those broken islands are usually non-straight, you know, they are a bit curved when, when you compare them to the proper ones. So let's do it one more time. I will firstly go into polygon mode, select the island, double click, then go back to the edge mode, select the seam, double click. And I click on UV unwrap. Then I will go into audio mode. Then move this new island off. Let's pick up another one. Select the island in polygon mode, edge mode, double click, and click on UV unwrap. Then go back to the polygon mode, move it off. Now I will be doing that to the other broken ones real quick. To align rotated UVs, we can select a straight edge and then click on align UV islands. I think I got them all, but while working on these, I noticed that I skipped an edge on the loop. It results in something like that. But this is quite easy to fix. I will just select that edge. Let's find it in the 3D view. Yeah, it seems like we skipped that edge, but it's not a big problem. I will just select it. Then I will go into polygon mode, double click on the island, then go back to the edge mode and then click on UV unwrap. It's that easy to split those parts apart. Now that we got everything, we can pack this back into a single, you know, UV island. So I will hit Ctrl A to select them all. Then go to the UV packing again, select the geometric one, and make sure that the equalize island size is enabled. I will simply click on apply. And that's it. As you can see, there's no distortion at all. Maybe those ones have a little bit in them. Let me see what, what are those. Yeah, those are, as you can see, not exactly cylinders, but they're not exactly flat. So maybe we can relax them. Unfortunately, Cinema 40 doesn't have an option to unwrap those 
in a more straight way like this one if you select a seam it results in something like that so i will stick to the relax uv method so if you see a little bit distortion you can apply this tool but uh, i don't think that amount of distortion will will hurt i mean it depends on your purpose finally let me check the uv map i will turn off the distortion I'm specifically looking at those white lines so that I can know that the UVs are proper because those edges are straight, you know. This is one of the major indications that the UVs are proper. By the way, the orientation of the UVs uh, doesn't matter that much. I mean, again, that depends on your purpose, but usually it is not that important. If so, if it is important, what you can do is, for example, Let's select that polygon in the 3D view, then go to the 2D view, then tap S to zoom in, then back out, then double click on that island. Now we can go to the transform, type in 90 over here, and then hit apply until the orientation of that island is aligned with a Nerby island like this one. Now we can select that Nerby island. I will tap S and rotate it again until it is aligned with this island. But in this case, I don't think it is necessary. This is all about what you're working on. It depends on your purpose or your project. But for me, it is looking great, which means that we can finish up the tutorial. So thank you very much for watching. If you have any questions, just let me know anytime. If you want more content, you can check out my socials in the description. I will see you in the next ones. Bye.